So I'm your host, not Dan Rojas, <laughs> and I'm going to do this on the first take. <laughs> but uh, I'm out here bottle cutting, and I almost gave up yesterday when uh, I was struggling to make a jig. And I just couldn't figure out how to clamp this bottle cutter down and make a jig, but I ended up coming up with the easiest way yet. And so what I do here is I've just got a couple spacers, and... This is going to be my very first attempt ever cutting a square bottle. I just cut like eight bottles earlier, round ones, doing this. But what I do is I just go around the bottom of the bottle. And, you know, I decide to make a deep cut because those shallow cuts, I heard, is all you need is to make it work. It's just a shallow cut and that wasn't working out very well for me so from now on i just make as deep a cut as i can maybe it's because my cutter's really dull it's not very sharp but anyway that's how i do it and then i'll take you in and we'll show you how this ends up working out when i use the hot and cold water but that's how i'm doing it Signing off, not your host, Dan Rojas. <laughs> Most of you probably won't understand that joke. So here we are in the kitchen. We've got the pot of boiling water, the pot of ice water, and my bottle. And I really hope this works because it would be pretty cool. I just got done doing this test earlier with, uh, that's a little bit too bright for the camera. But uh, I just got done doing the sandblasting test earlier on this bottle and it came out pretty nice and I think it would be pretty cool to have a square bottle to try on and I'll be trying different patterns with sandblasting and I just noticed we got the leaves on the curtains too but here we go let's give this a try and I really hope it works. But, uh, here we go. Um, Alright, let me get these on. So, the only reason it's not going to work is the different thicknesses around the bottom. It's going to transfer the heat differently when I shock the glass. But let's hope it try works. What I was doing earlier is counting down about ten seconds and do this one a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna just put it straight in there. I think I see a, it cracked it along one side, part of that side. This is always the tricky part, going back into the hot water. That's when I've cracked them. I'll do it slow enough. Yeah, there it's cracking. I do it slow enough. Get it back in there. Uh-oh. Didn't ruin the bottle yet. Just the bottom. That's another nice thing about just holding the bottom in there. Because if it does crack, it's usually just the bottom, not the top. Oh, we did get a crack down the side. But we'll keep going. And you get enough of these bottles. You're gonna get one of them maybe. That's the ice cubes cracking or the bottle. Looks like it did crack all the way around. Let's see here. No. 
Not yet. Can you hear it? Uh, yeah. I think this side is the one that still hasn't gone all the way through. I'm just starting out, so maybe I'll get better. Part of it. Well, I did get part of it, and what? I, see how we got some cracks here. Might be able to get one of these one time, but uh, when I, if it wasn't for these cracks, if I had just this, I keep going back and forth, and then I can use the glass cutter and pretty much get it the little pieces off and it'll still have a nice clean cut around there that just needs to be sanded down a little bit so I think I'll end this video here and here you can see I actually almost got it well not quite but if I keep trying I might be able to just do it And of course all that little stuff will sand down. But uh, almost. Uh, the bottle's kind of dirty right now, but I put it up and I think it looks pretty nice. I could probably sand this off and then put a different leaves sandblasted onto each side. And the sandblasting might even make the blue stand out pretty nice, just like it made this green come out. But uh... So now that I've got a square circle, it'd be cool to have a red triangle bottle if I could find one of them. But uh, it'd be pretty cool.